What's your name, bud? Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob. Where are you from? I am from Colorado. All right, and you're doing, what are you doing up here? Uh, my girlfriend hiked the AT, so I came down here to meet up with her, and then I kind of stayed right. while she kept going. So right. I'm doing work in the area. Now, he, he was up late last night. Um, it was kind of like the galloping gourmet. <laughs> it was going on here, and, and he had a couple takers, and he was cooking his specialty, which are what? So these are the black trumpets. What, what black trumpet what? Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. So they come in a certain season. Wild mushrooms. Right, and they're pretty much what everybody's looking for, along with the golden chanterelles, which I have some in the refrigerator. All right, and so where did you find these? At the supermarket? At the no, Whole Foods? No, at Rattlesnake Mountain Trailhead. Oh my so goodness. if you know where that is, then you can find these. Oh my goodness. All right, now what do we have going on on this plate here? These are, what were they? They were Russian... Um, tacky green Russian... Yeah, those were like tacky green... Did you find them at the same place? Yes. So these are a new one. We haven't tried these yet. All right. But they say in the book that they're good. All right. Like, you know, edible. Like sometimes they'll say like edible with caution, or it'll say just edible. But right, these now, say that they're good. What's so. the deal with that little blue one there? So this little purple one, we haven't found it in the book, but on this mushroom page that I belong to in New Hampshire, it says that they are edible, and they were talking about cooking them up, and so All I right. figured I'd just pick one just for the fun of it. All right. It yeah, is, they are in the book. Okay. It, oh, there we go. We've got a book, even. We do it by the book because the book says to do it by the book. Right, and then <laughs> what she was saying, like, um, if you go and check out the page, then it gives you a whole just paragraph on further details like it says a sunken in center like how these are all sunken in on the center oh, okay. and then it shows how the gills go all the way mm -hmm. to, to the, the stem stands. and then the picture shows how it's perfectly white so it's good good okay. edibility good. good we like that yep right and these say good with caution are edible are good with caution but we've eaten them for the last three days and they're fantastic yeah they go great just like, don't eat a ton and you'll be fine uh, and that's what we were kind of saying like uh, let your body kind of see because you could have an allergic reaction. Okay, is, you know? is the, the danger of eating mushrooms, is it overblown? No. Yeah. Absolutely not. No. Okay, so it, there's, it's real. <laughs> It is. Oh, real. It's definitely real. Yeah. It's definitely real. Not death every time. Just really throwing up a lot. It de yeah. Mm. It depends on what mushrooms you eat because there are some that are very deadly. Um, but even these taste good raw. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's definitely good to fully identify. Like, here are the black trumpets in the book. It's definitely good to fully identify mushrooms before you eat them. All the time. All the time. Have you ever, like, served mushrooms to, like, an old boyfriend that you didn't like and you wanted to break up with? <laughs> no? No. no. Liam's no. like, what? No. <laughs> she bought this book. No. No. Yeah, you can look in there and figure out what... Here, honey, try these. That is true. This is what you get no. for not taking out the trash. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, thanks a lot. That's what I do. All right, Bob, where are we going? We are going to 25A... Trailhead at 25A. That's a road. That is, that is a road. In New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. Is it in a town? Um, I believe it is in Warren. Warren. New Hampshire. All right. Warren, New Hampshire. What do people do for a living in this part of the world? Well, obviously there's a lot of farming. Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> when a hostel. Yeah, you think a lot of... You think a, you think that the uh, a lot of people, uh, their primary occupation is a hostile shuttle driver? Yeah, it could be. Yeah, could be a lucrative thing. Uh, not exactly, okay. but it's fun. All right, good. You meet a lot of interesting people. Yeah, excellent. So, yeah, excellent. All right, now and here's Jersey. Hey, Jersey. What part of Delaware are you from? Uh, the good part, the one that's in New Jersey. Uh, what exit? Uh, one forty-five. <laughs> what town is it? Clifton, New Jersey. Have you ever heard Joe Piscopo do that routine? I haven't, no. You have, but you've heard other people do Joe Piscopo doing that routine. I think so. Wait, you from Jersey? I'm from Jersey too. Which exit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, was, that's old, old school. And uh, anyhow, all right, so what are you doing today? Uh, just a easy 10 mile or slack. Okay. Uh, this hostel is nicely situated, so you can kind of go do like a free slack. Yeah. Are you coming back to this hostel tonight? I am coming back to the hostel All tonight. Right. Yeah. Are you doing what? What kind of hike are you doing? Uh, as far as like overall? Yeah. Uh, I did about half last year. Doing about half this year. Okay. Should be finishing up, hopefully, relatively soon. Thanks. What do you say? What? How do you pronounce the name of this trail? 
Appalachian. Appalachian. Oh boy, it looks like a southerner there. Yeah. Yeah. Although it, it depends uh, where I go. Appalachian, Appalachian. How, have you ever said Appalachian? I have not. Okay. Because that's what my New Jersey friends have said that. Yeah. So can you I try guess. it? Appalachian? Appalachian. Right. Yeah. So does that feel good or no? Not really. Not really. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell, I'll, they'll, they'll be glad to know. All right. Thanks a lot, Jersey. I appreciate it. All right, guys, good morning. Bonesboro, the Chapalachian here, and who am I with? Somewhere, again. Hi, somewhere, yeah, yeah. Bonesboro's managed to take a new hostage. No, I have a new a new hiking partner here. <laughs> entered the Bonesboro Vortex, and I've entered the Somewhere Vortex, and we're looking forward to it. We're going to do 10 miles today and uh, end up at the Notch Hostel. So come meet us at the Notch. No, come with us to the Notch as we hike the Appalachian Trail. Yes, we've left New Hampshire, and now we're in a helicopter <laughs> high above the Amazon rainforest, looking to see if we can make first contact with any First Nation people. Attention, people of Amazonia. Remember, Phone in pocket, mind on task. This is Bone Spur of the Chapalachian. You're welcome. This, this uh, pond is pretty, but uh, just be glad you can't smell it. Sort of reminds me of the bunk room at the Hanover Adventure Tourist Hospital, if you know what I mean. A little stagnant. After yesterday's extravaganza of YouTube content creation on Musilaki, today isn't quite as scenic. We're a little bit south of Musilaki, actually south of, uh, it's a 10 mile section, south of what we did yesterday. And uh, we wanted to beat the weather. Like it's gonna rain today and we did not wanna be on Musilaki in the rain. But this is a relatively flat 10 mile section with uh, not a lot of excitement yet, and we're five miles into it. Uh, not a lot of excitement in terms of YouTube content creation, but uh, somewhere just had the idea, and I think it's a good one, that we'll just take a minute here, and uh, maybe you can hear, I hope, kind of the sounds of the forest, the sounds of my feet on the ground, and the sounds of my trekking poles, and the sounds of the road that we're about to get to which is gonna ruin the whole idea here. Okay, that's it. We'll try again later. What's, what's uh, wrong with your vortex here? My vortex is not working with the trail magic. Here I am with somewhere, and we're at Highway 25C, I think. Have you had any good trail magic? Not um, for a while, not, not for, up here. Where, where did you get good trail magic at some point? Oh, I got a good trail magic after Unionville, somebody named Zippy. With Gatorade and fruit and mm. offered to go get me a pizza. Really? Mm -hmm. So that was Unionville, New Jersey, New York? Unionville, New Jersey. Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Stayed at a hostel there, which was terrific. Yes. The Bone Spur Vortex is devoid mm -hmm. of trail magic. As, as we've noted here, yeah. I've gotten one hot dog, I think, uh, is the extent of it. Although, in terms of traditional trail magic, you'll remember the hay barn story from Cheshire. Uh, which, where I ended up, and I'll tell you that story later. Oh, yeah, it was great. I have to hear that one. Yeah, and uh, that was the ultimate trail magic there. But uh, uh, I'm still waiting here at the roads to see. And here's a road. Nobody's coming, so I guess we'll cross it. No, yeah, I guess we'll. Why? Why did the hikers cross the road to get closer to somewhere that might have trail magic? All right, kids, um, just, oh, it's been very mellow today, very gradual, a little over six miles into it. And to just give you a sense of perspective, yesterday doing Musilaki, um, we started at 1,000 feet, and we ended up at 4,802 feet. Today, we started at 1,000 feet, and the top of the climb is going to be 2,200 feet. So, just a mere... Uh, 2,600 feet less uh, 
in, a, in an elevation change, which is just uh, makes for an easy day today. So it's kind of hard to tell because the way I'm breathing, but it's because I'm going uphill right now. But anyhow, oh, and the other thing is this, that, that the, you know, 1,200 foot of elevation gain today was gradual over six and a half miles. And yesterday was abrupt um, on both sides of that mountain. So, you know, still the AT, we're still going up, but some days are not like other days. But the good thing about yesterday was the sun was out, the views were beautiful, the temperature was beautiful, it was dry in the air, and there was a little breeze, and I was with old what's her name somewhere and Augie and we had a nice time and Bonespur of the Chapalachian was not flying solo which makes me happy uh, if that's that's about it for right now all right here we are Bonespur coming over the top of the climb and uh, yeah after you've done Musalaki uh, Little 1200 footer is not much, and it wasn't really a 1200 footer, it was about 500 at the end there. But because we've been gradually coming up, and uh, I'm not positive that I explained what it is exactly we're doing today and why. Uh, yesterday we started the White Mountains, Mount Musalaki. The forecast was for rain today, and you don't do Musalaki in the rain, and so I made the executive decision yesterday to skip forward and do Musalaki and then come back today. To do the 10 miles that was uh that was missing and so uh so far it's not rain but i think it's still going to in the afternoon but we're really close to finish we're three miles from finishing and uh which is good because then we're going to go to the notch hostel and that'll be our staging point to get ready to attack the white mountains got some uh supply boxes coming in and uh some stuff needs to be sent out and because it's going to be a 10-day journey through the white, it's going to include one hostel stay, or no, one shelter stay the first night, and then nine huts. And so you'll be hearing more about that uh, going forward. So, uh, yeah, so that's why ten, just 10 miles today, 10 miles of flat today. And it's kind of funny, you let, yesterday, man, it looked like a whole different planet that we were on. It was steep, steep, rocky, rocky, and then the downhill was just really hairy. And if you saw yesterday's video, you know what I'm talking about. And today... Uh, it's like a walk through Friedrich Park in San Antonio, and uh, which is good because, uh, you know, really pushed it yesterday. And then we saw a Sobo uh, prof uh, a little bit earlier, and I asked him how Musalaki compared with the rest of the stuff north. And, and the correct answer would have been, oh, if you can, you know, Musalaki is as difficult as any of them. Of course, he didn't say that. He said there's harder things. I didn't want to hear that. But, uh, and I reprimanded him for that. But he did say, hey, you did Musalaki, you can do anything in the whites. So that, it was good to know. That, that was, uh, it was good to hear that. So anyhow, that ha there you go from the top of uh, the no-name hill here. And uh, we'll see you down the trail. So something else I'd like to make note of here is that let's mark, mark the tape. It is now 1227 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This is officially the latest in the day. And the longest time I've been awake during a day that I did since the internet era started, uh, that I didn't check my email yet. Here I've been awake since five o'clock this morning. I've been out and about since not too long after that. And I have not checked email yet. I am free. 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 I'm going to check it now, though. Somebody might need a billboard. All right, as I explained earlier, let's see if for just for a minute we can hear the sounds of the forest, which includes footsteps through the leaves and on the ground and hike trekking pole hitting rocks. So let's just uh, close our eyes or let them remain open, uh, whatever pleases you. And, uh, in touch with our breath to start with. Maybe in for four counts. 
out for three and just enjoy the sounds of the outdoors. You've been hiking the Appalachian Trail with Bone Spur, the Chapalachian. All right, somewhere. Yes. You see this flat part of the trail? I do. Let's relish this next 30 feet because this could be the last flat part of the trail we see for a while. Correct. So, uh, so, all right, let's go. Let's enjoy it. Okay. okay. All right. All right, Bob. So, what'd you do today? I mowed the lawn around our, our home. Where are we going now? We are going to the Notch Hostel, which I'm not exactly sure what town it's in. Maybe Woodstock, maybe. Okay. Well, Lincoln. They're, they're, they're pretty. Like they're right. pretty close to each other, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Good. So the rain's starting, huh? A little bit. Rain is starting to come down a little bit. How's your lawn doing this year? The lawn is very green and very long. It's it along quickly. Well, you're going to finally get rid of us. I know you've been looking forward to that. That's a sad day. Okay. <laughs> sad For us day. too. All right, Bob. Best of luck. Thank you. And you also. All right. Bob is 87% Irish. Yes, I am. I just asked him if a shamrock and a four-leaf clover is the same thing, and he said he didn't think so. But but I, I asked what a shamrock is, and he doesn't really know. But what do you know about Beer and potatoes. Okay, well, <laughs> that's good. But maybe off camera, I'll ask you some questions about that. <laughs> okay. Big duck taco. Uh, all I can say is yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what's that for. All right, duck. I'm not doing that three times. I can't, no. Mm -mm. How long have you been here? How long have you been at this hostel? Yeah. Three days. Three days? What have you been doing? Eating ice cream. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Healthy. Yeah, Doc is, uh, what do you think? Oh, yours? I was like, what? No, my, my, ring, my ring finger here. I think it's a little offset, but I think the swelling has gone down. I think it's just going to look like that, like I said, until you have an ortho you look at it. But if you have full range of motion and you're not having any pain when you, you, you know, compress it, I think it's going to be all right. All right. You're going to have to get a bigger wedding ring yeah. to get over the knuckle. So is videoing myself when I'm walking on rocks in Pennsylvania, would you say that's a good idea or a bad idea? I would have to say my, my vast medical knowledge and opinion. That's yeah. probably a bad idea. Yeah, that's a bad idea. So mind on task, phone in pocket. Yes. How about in the White Mountains? Do you think I can film as I'm going down the White Mountains? At the same I might time. have to take a poll with my colleagues on that one. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Good idea. 100%. Yeah. Do it. Uh, all right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try not to. <laughs> all right, Doc. Uh, what's the copay? The copay? Yeah. Uh, I'll just I'll give you my insurance card later. That'll work. Thanks. It's the one pint challenge. <laughs> right here at 
Where are we? What's the name of this place? I don't know. <laughs> the hell is the name the of this place? The Notch. The Notch Hospital. The Notch. <laughs> the Notch Hospital. <laughs> we got mint chip. Hershey's mint chip. Oh. The official flavor of the, the... What's the name of that place? The uh, Pine Grove Furnace mm. place. Mm. Do that after drinking one of these 4,000 foot beers. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's quite a challenge. Okay, kids, that'll do it. Uh, at the Notch Hostel and uh, near North Woodstock, New Hampshire. And uh, easy day today, did 10 miles. Um, we slack packed it. Me and somewhere did it together. And uh, it was easy. It was like a whole new world compared to yesterday. Uh, yesterday was up and over Musilaki was fabulously exciting, challenging, dangerous. Today was like walking through McAllister Park in San Antonio. But it was a nice it was a nice change. So yeah, we we're done before two o'clock. And uh the barn door uh hostel people had our stuff, came, got us, brought us over here, and there was a full house in this place. It's a huge house and really nice. And I mean there must be twenty five, thirty people in here. And uh but it's very nice, very nicely done. So this will be a great place to be for a couple of days. Going to take a zero tomorrow, and um, then we're off, off into the whites, going hut to 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 hut, and uh, this could be awesome. Looking forward to that. And so uh, I think the most significant thing about uh, today is that now I've got a hiking partner who's going to do the whites with me, and I'm really thrilled about that. And I'm glad you get to meet her. And uh, it's. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing. So that'll do it. So may your eyes be filled with wonders. May your heart be full of joy. May your footsteps be firm as you walk with God. Amen.